Hello students, have a lovely day to all of you. Welcome to EC Learning Channel. In this presentation, we are going to study about refraction of light. A topic from class 10 physics. In this module, we will discuss about Refraction of light at plane surfaces, optical medium, optically denser medium, optically rarer medium, cause of refraction. One by one we will study. First is refraction of light. Let us first discuss about the general definition for refraction. Refraction is the bending of a wave when it enters a medium where its speed is different. Bending of a wave means from the straight path there is a change in direction of a wave. Wave can be any wave, light wave, sound wave, etc. When it enters a medium where its speed is different. That means a difference in speed is must for refraction. Next, coming to our topic, refraction of light. Refraction of light possible only through transparent objects or media like air, water or glass. Air is a transparent media, water is also a transparent media and glass is also a transparent object. When light travels obliquely from one transparent medium into another, it gets bent. This bending of light is called a refraction of light. When light travels obliquely, obliquely means at an angle or slanting from one transparent medium to another transparent medium. Let us consider air is a transparent medium and a Water is also a transparent medium. So, pair of media is air and a water. From air to water, light is obliquely traveling. Then what will happen to the light according to refraction? It gets bent like this. This phenomenon of bending of light is called refraction of light. This is an example of refraction of light. The straw appears bent inside the water because of refraction of light. More about this we will discuss in the next slide. First, let us discuss about the term optical medium. Medium through which light can propagate is called optical medium. That means every transparent medium can considered as optical medium. For example, air, water, glass are examples of optical medium. Next point, if refractive medium is optically denser than the first medium, then light speeds down. Optically denser. That means light speeds down. Let us consider a pair of medium air and a water. Light travels from air to water. Comparing air and water, water is optically denser than air. That means inside water light speeds down. 
so we can say that in optically denser medium light decreases its speed third point if refractive medium is optically rarer than the first medium then light speeds up again consider a pair of medium glass and a air here light travels from glass to air in this case refractive medium is optically rarer that means air is the rarer medium and in rarer medium light speeds up light increases its speed these two points are very important for refraction in denser medium light speeds down in rarer medium light speeds up going to the next slide refraction of light there are three cases of refraction of light one by one we will discuss first is when light travels from optically rarer to optically denser medium it bends towards the normal let us see it is a surface of separation rarer medium air denser medium glass normal drawn to the surface of separation consider a ray of light obliquely incident on the surface of separation actual path of the light is straight like this but here there is a medium change from rarer to denser medium in denser medium we already discussed light speeds down light decreases its speed that means here refracted ray bend towards the normal it decreases its speed from its actual path and it bend towards the normal this is the first case rarer to denser medium because of a decrease in speed of light the refracted ray bent towards the normal and angle between incident ray and a normal is called angle of incidence i and angle between incident refracted ray and a normal is called angle of refraction second case when light travels from denser to rarer medium it bends away from the normal let us see what happens surface of separation denser medium rarer medium normal drawn to the surface of separation a ray of light incident obliquely to the surface of separation actual path of light is straight but here there is a medium change from denser to rarer medium in rarer medium light increases its speed light speeds up let us see how yes here refracted ray bends away from the normal that means from its straight path it speeds up and bent away from the normal from denser to rarer medium the light travels bent away from the normal angle between normal and a refracted ray is angle of refraction and angle between normal and incident ray is angle of incidence next case third case the ray of light incident normally on the surface of separation of two media passes 
undeviated or no bending. Normally means incident 90 degree to the surface of separation. Let us see. Surface of separation medium 1, medium 2. It can be rarer or denser. Here incident ray ray of light this is the incident ray ray of light incident 90 degree to the surface of separation angle between the incident ray and the surface of separation is 90 degree and a angle of incidence is zero here angle between incident ray and a normal is zero but angle between incident ray and the surface of separation is 90 degree. Then let us see what will happen. Here there is no deviation. Light passes undeviated without any bending. No bending to the light ray. It travels straight. In this case I also equal to 0. R also equal to 0. R means angle of refraction. I means angle of incidence. This is the last case. Hope it is clear. Next is what is the cause of refraction? Cause of refraction is change in speed of light when it passes from one medium to another medium. Cause of refraction is a change in speed because of the difference in the optical density of the medium. Optically denser medium means light speeds down. Optically rarer medium means light speeds up. Because of that there will be a bending of light. That is a cause of refraction. It is very important for board exam. Change in speed of light is a cause of refraction. Hope you all enjoyed this presentation and understood the topic refraction of light. Keep in touch. I will be uploading more videos. Thank you.